Oh, St. Thomas White Marsh friends and visitors and um, family, we miss you. We miss you live and in person. Um, we love getting the daily emails though and the live stream church has been wonderful. So thank you for that. And if anybody needs anything, groceries or uh, pharmacy pickups, please reach out to us because we are more than happy to help with that. Um, so we've recently been watching the Bible series with Seamus and um, had planned on watching the crucifixion episode on Good Friday, but Seamus kept wanting to um, watch it, episodes. And so when a 15 year old boy says, I want to keep watching, you don't say no. So we're a little ahead of the game, but um, we, uh, the other night, watched the crucifixion episode. And, um, you know, Jesus is, you know, getting whipped and beaten and the crown of thorns is, you know, dug into his scalp and he's made to carry his, the cross only to be hung on it. And then, um, you know, as he's nailed to the cross, we're kind of like this, barely able to watch in our seats, and I said to Seamus, you know, remember the suffering, because the suffering was all done for the forgiveness of our sins. Um, and it was just a really meaningful moment for our family. And it got me thinking of um, several of the Christian kind of heroes. I keep like this list of people I like to read about. And one of them is Eric Little, and most people know him from the movie Chariots of Fire. And so about a year ago, we actually sat Seamus down and kind of made him watch this movie, which he, of course, then enjoyed immensely. But um, what a great movie and a man of conviction, right? So, you know, he refuses to run this uh, race that he's trained so many years to run because it's a Sunday, which is his holy day. And, um, and then winds up having to run this race, you know, four times as long, but still wins. And he attributes that to God's strength and God's grace and God's goodness. But, um, but that race and, and that part of Little's life is such a small part of what he went on to do. He went on to become this missionary in China, following his parents' footsteps, uh, then later um, captured by the Japanese and imprisoned, and uh, he dies in that imprisonment camp. But the entire time, his faith is just unwavering, and uh, his, he endures all this suffering, and it's all to spread God's word. And it's just, it's really striking, and powerful. And in one of uh, the books I read about him, or possibly even the movie, he uh, says this prayer that I've written down that I'd like to share with you. And I hope that it brings you peace, as it does me. And... Um, he also had shared that his favorite hymn was Be Still My Soul, which has always been one of my favorite time, my all fave uh, hymns. So if you have the opportunity to, you know, listen to that today, I would urge you to do so because it's really beautiful. But Little's uh, prayer is this. Victory over all the circumstances of life comes not by might nor by power, but by a practical confidence in God and by allowing his spirit to dwell in our hearts and control our actions and emotions. Learn in the days of ease and comfort to think in terms of the prayer that follows so that when the days of hardship come, you will be fully prepared and equipped to meet them. Father, I pray that no circumstance, however bitter or however long drawn out, may cause me to break thy law, the law of love, to thee and to my neighbor, that I may not become resentful, have hurt feelings, hate, or become embittered by life's experiences, but that in and through all I may see thy guiding hand and have a heart full of gratitude for thy daily mercy, daily love, daily power, and daily presence. Help me in the day when I need it most to remember that all things work together for good to them that love and serve the Lord. I can do all things through him that strengthen me, and my grace is sufficient for thee. My strength is made perfect in weakness. Now unto him who is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy, to the only wise God our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and forever. Amen.